Okay, YouTubers, this is the Angry Prepper. Uh, I've been absent for a while, about a year and a little bit. Been busy with uh, a couple things. Uh, running a group here in the city, a prepper group here in the city. We've been doing a lot of outings. Uh, I sort of wrote a book with American Prepper Network. Uh, it was more like a pantheon on steroids. I will show you that book at the end of the uh, video. So anyway, this uh, this outing the group is doing this weekend is primitive camping. Primitive camping has its place for preppers. Uh, it teaches preppers how to adapt to what they have around them and how to survive with less. So as you can see here, you're looking at a bedroll. Okay, a bedroll is what uh, a lot of Civil War soldiers and cowboys traveled with. Right? So they put their essentials in the in the bedroll and then they rolled it up, which is what I'm going to do in a bit. Um, so anyway, this is uh, this is all the items I'm carrying with me. So we're going to start from the top, or actually the bottom. Sorry. So at the bottom of it all is a oil cloth tarp by Tensmith. Uh, this is a eight by eight tarp. Uh, right above that will be a plastic ground tarp, and then I have a self, a man-made. Uh, mattress tick or browse bag bed whatever you want to call it what I did with that and that's the duvet cover right above the plastic tarp the arrows pointing at it now uh, I waterproofed it or not waterproof but made it water resistant using linseed oil boiled linseed oil and mineral spirit it's an equal part mixture you soak it in the uh, in the mixture and you let it hang for a couple days until it's completely dry. It takes about a week or two to get rid of the the smell, but it saves you some money. And it's also a project that I wanted to do. Okay, so on top of that, now you have a queen size alpaca uh, wool blanket. On top of that is the twin size alpaca uh, wool blanket. You have a pillow by I forgot what company, but I will oh the company name is Nemo. It's fairly new. Uh, as you'll see underneath the pillow or down from the pillow I have cordage 550 cord that's the string up the tarp I have my thermals socks uh, scarf or, or neck guard hat gloves my cooking equipment and this uh, my sleeping pad this sleeping pads here in case I can't stuff the uh, browse bag to sleep on and then there goes my fire kit to the right of the sleeping pad which is in the middle so sleeping pad in the middle fire uh, starting kit and my canteen uh, sorry cooking equipment so I'm going to roll all of this up um, and you guys will see what the finished product looks like as opposed to me rolling it or maybe I'll show you guys rolling it who knows okay this is the, uh, as you can see, the bedroll. I folded the sides in. Um, just to make it a lot shorter when carrying it instead of being its full length. Um, it also keeps things dry should it start raining as a downpour. So it's actually built as a protectant. Uh, I'm not sure about the slipping out factor. I don't know if anything's going to slip out if you roll it up tight, but. I've seen so many people do it, and I can only figure out that it's a, it's a dry issue. So anyway, as you can see, I put my kitchen kit, sleeping pad, and fire kit here at the top. Um, that's for more support when I'm rolling it, instead of being at the bottom. Um, so as you can see, I'm going to start rolling now. So, as you're rolling it, as tight as you can. This takes some uh, some grip strength as well as uh, grip strength. It's pretty much what it takes. So 
as you're rolling it, you're going to pull on the sides because they come, I don't want to say I'm done, but they start to uh, roll back the sides here. So every, I'm going to say every time you roll it, pull it in. Now, this part here, take the tips, fold it on itself. This makes it easier when you have a loop from the tarp. Strap it in, boom, done. So now your tarp and everything you're carrying in it is in this bedroll. You're gonna take whatever straps you have. You can use a belt, you can use a, a accessory strap such as this. And you want to Clip it in and cinch it down. All right, so now it's not going to come undone. You can use two, you can use three, you can use as many as you want. Um, keeping it uniform is up to you. That's for people with a OCD. This just guarantees that now this thing doesn't unroll anything. So, I will shoot the final product, what it's going to look like. This is just to hold it together. I'm gonna to add a couple more straps. I'm gonna turn this into a, a backpack, if you will. So it's bedroll backpack. This has everything I need. I am gonna take with me uh, the Rips front pack. You've seen the review I did on that, uh, on that front carrying system. I am going to take that with me. It's going to be part of my primitive camping. Some people carry something called a haversack, which is a leather cloth bag that they put the rest of the items that they're going to carry with them in it. I'm using the front pack uh, a little more modern, and I don't have a haversack, so there goes that. All right, guys, uh, you're going to see the final product in the next segment. All right, guys, uh, this is the bedroll. I'm actually doing a voiceover because I forgot to uh, do the actual video. Anyway, um, so as you can see, the bedroll is being held together with accessory straps. Uh, I also use accessory straps to, or as shoulder straps, which uh, actually sucked. They were too thin and not uh, comfortable enough. Though they made it to the spot in the, uh, at the campsite, they weren't as comfortable as I thought they were going to be. So anyway, um, the accessory straps held the bedroll together. It just didn't carry well. So with the uh, accessory straps, I also used those to hold some uh, tools in, as you can see. Um, but we're going to start from the bottom. So the bottom of the uh, picture is my ribs front pack. Uh, and there is my fire kit. Uh, tuna packets, maps, cotton bandanas, a deck of cards, and an extra, uh, oh, uh, emergency poncho, and an emergency uh, blanket. So, moving next to the item above that is the monarch chair. I know that's not very uh, bush crafty, but it's a uh, nice comfortable chair to have uh, by the fire next to that is the uh, on the left of that is the hatchet uh, don't know the name if I figure out the name I'll put it in the video to the right of that is the survivor now, as you can see the hatchet and the survivor are both being held down by the uh, accessory straps uh, to the left of the hatchet as you can see it's a snow and nearly axe which I didn't get to use to uh, chop wood that weekend. I used a survivor instead. Uh, but I will be doing a review on the uh, on the snow and the axe. So by the axe, as you can see, there's yellow webbing. That comes in handy for a multitude of things. Uh, pulling deadfall up to your campsite. Uh, you can come in as a stretcher carrying somebody out. 
or just tying things down or up in a up in a tree like a bear bag or uh, if your bag happens to break you can use those as straps as well so it has multiple uses um, on the top of the bag is my 511 rain jacket which I uh, I did tie in at the by the uh, by the chair by the monarch chair uh, I took it out before I took this picture so anyway um, like I said it held together well nothing fell out uh, just as I would have gone with thicker straps which I'm looking for and um, that's pretty much it guys so next segment is going to be a quick talk on the uh, the book I wrote with American Purpose Network okay so the book I mentioned earlier the book that I worked with APN on, uh, American Prepper Network, is Emergency Bag Essentials, Everything You Need to Bug Out. Um, so this is a swatch book. It's not really a book, per se. It's more like a pamphlet on steroids. So swatch book, um, it fans out when you open it, and it just gives you uh, straight to the point what you need to put in your bug out bags. So, you know, I'm going to open a book and read a whole history about myself or APN and everything else. Uh, and it takes up like, you know, four, five, 20 pages, whatever it is. And then getting it, why you need each thing. This is pretty much a straightforward what you need in your uh, your bug out bag. Uh, you may agree on some of the things. You may not agree on other things. That's up to you. Uh, you put in what you want, but this is more of a guideline. This is not principle or set rules. It's just a uh, a book to breeze through to make sure you have everything or things you might want to add to your bug out bag. Right? You can buy this book at Barnes and Nobles. Uh, what is that other one? Amazon. Sorry. And uh, if you type it in, there are other places you can pick it up online. All right. Uh, hopefully, you guys purchase this book. That would be awesome. If not, understood. All right. So. Uh, Thank you, and there will be more. There will be a more in-depth uh, look into the book in another video. Thank you.